Here's a familiar sight, at least for me. R35 2020 GTR. Um, we're doing a tune on it right now. This is a basic tune. This is not, not going for performance per se on this one. This is uh, just a basic upgrade tune because he did an exhaust system on it. And with the exhaust system on the 2020s especially, they have a sound control system built into the exhaust. It's like a valve. So when you put um, a different exhaust system on or you bypass that valve sensor, it causes problems. The car goes into limp mode. So we are programming that out. And if you have an R35 and you need help doing this, we can do it for you too. Um, there is some gains here too, big gains. He's not utilizing the huge gains on this one, but we do have the opportunity to make another 100 horsepower over stock, a lot of torque. These cars are super potent from the factory. You don't need much to make them go really well. Um, if you do a set of injectors, E85 fuel pumps and the tune, like I said, over 100 horsepower gains. and low 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 10 second quarter mile we have dipped into the nines with a completely stock turbo stock tranny stock motor r35 we did it a long time ago but um no trouble with these cars doing that and they're really rock solid reliability consistency just got to keep up on the maintenance and make sure that you don't let anything get let the oil get old stuff like that but other than that they're awesome cars. So this is finishing up now. We'll take it for a little test drive and make sure everything's good and send it on its way. All right. Drive smooth as stock. Can't even tell the tune's in there. We have the ability to change boost though. Look at that, huh? So you can dial in the boost level that you want. We're gonna turn her right there. That's good see what she does this should feel really good usually these cars uh, the increase in power that you get with this tune just with the tune is so noticeable it's hands down the best thing you can do for this car for the money for sure so let's go ahead and see how she feels the other beauty of these cars is you can drive them one-handed Super smooth, no trouble at all. That's how we like to see it. So if you have one of these cars yourself, make sure you hit us up. This is a great, great platform for tuning. It takes to the tune extremely well. Um, and there's so many options. You can do E85, flex fuel, big turbos, everything you can imagine. And they just eat it up. They're, they're awesome cars. And we've tuned quite a few of them. We tuned actually the first one in the USA. First JD or uh, first USDM one uh, was was tuned by us in conjunction with Cobb. So just a little fun fact. Not a bad looking car. I figured I'd show you the outside too. Got a nice wing on it and stuff. These 2020s are amazing. Look at the wheels, huh? Really cool. That's all factory. Ray's engineering body kits good these have like a nice like uh lip on them and everything from the factory the lights nice nice updates for these years for those of you who are new to the channel you haven't seen this bad boy that's idling right now you're missing out go check out the old videos this is my uh this is one of my little lawn tractor projects we call it a garden. No, lawn. this is a lawn tractor. It's not a garden tractor. It's too small. This is like something that you get over at Home Depot originally. Uh, and then, of course, in true HP Logic fashion, we stuck this twin cylinder in it. And it just makes the whole thing worth it. Pretty cool little upgrade. Got a bunch of stuff on it. Horizontally opposed twin cylinder. Got a big old hitch on the back here to put 
four bolt hubs on it, super lug tires. It's just fun. Fully swapped it. Still got the five speed transmission in it. So she goes about, I think like 17 or 18 miles an hour we were getting it up to. It's about all we want to do. First gear is really good. And we can pull a lot of stuff with it. So I use this to pull cars around in the shop. So if you haven't seen Marcus's channel, check him out here. He's got a nice little wheel horse that he put together. And then of course the cup cadets at the house, if you haven't seen those. So if you're new to the channel, start exploring, go look. I got a bunch of stuff that I'm doing, obviously. So we're back at the house now and uh, I'm about to load up some flight simulator. I just wanted to show you guys, we got this. Track IR. A bunch of you were suggesting to me that I should try this out. It allows the head tracking to be used so that I can actually move my head and it'll move the screen to like kind of mimic my view. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to pull this thing out of the uh, box and set it up and see how it does because I'm really enjoying the, uh, the flight simulator experience so far and I really do want to uh, to make it as realistic as possible for sure. So let's check it out. There you go. There's the sensor right there mounted on the top of the TV and it shoots an infrared at this little hat device. Now it also comes with this that goes on headphones. I don't use headphones, so I'm gonna have to come up with something to make that work. But I was thinking just like a headphone band with that thing on it. Um, it supposedly works a little bit better than the, the hat thing, but let's see how the hat thing works. It's got reflectors you can see here that correspond with those. So I can't even see those LEDs. You're able to see them on here because this thing's picking up the infrared, but uh, I can't even see them. So now we're loaded up here. Let's get this going and you can see it is moving with my head. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not bad. I look up, I look over. That's pretty neat. So I'm going to try to fly with it and see how it looks. So we'll go ahead and hit the... <laughs> That's so funny. I look over here. Take the brake off. Power up. I'm going to fly with one hand. Clearly. Let's see how she does. pretty cool you can actually look around just like a real plane all right we got speed I'm a little off center sorry I'm distracted here but it's pretty neat because I can lean in to look at my instruments or I can look around that's neat so this game really requires a strong computer and uh, this one is pretty good but you can see it does have a little trouble when I start moving around a lot. But um, anyway, oops, sorry. I'm like looking at the screen and not at the camera, so sorry for the whack angle. But anyway, I'm going to fly around a little bit. This is this is really good. I might try a landing. We'll see how she does. All right, so I'm going to try to land here. So we can see the runway over to the side. I'm going to try and hold the camera while I make a quick turn here to base. All right, so here we go. So once you're, once you're lined up with a runway, you kind of don't want your head to move around. This is really tricky because I'm holding this camera and I think there's a pretty good crosswind here. So bear with me, okay guys? I am definitely way off center. This is a pretty stiff wind. Get it back on center. There we go. Okay, so, jeez. Oh Sorry, I was holding the camera. I need someone to hold the camera for me while I do this. Uh, hopefully you guys saw something. I'll, I'll look at the video and see if I have to do that again. But either way, first impressions, takes a little bit getting used to. It's a little sensitive. I'm gonna try and turn down the sensitivity a little bit because if I look to the left, like, 45 degrees it shows me looking 
all the way outside of the cockpit. So I'd like it to be a little less sensitive than that. So we'll hook it up. I really like that you can like zoom in on stuff though. So you can really see all the switches and stuff. That's really cool. Sorry, once again, I gotta figure out how to hold this camera. All right, so now you can see, I turned the sensitivity down a little bit. Hopefully this is a little bit better. I think that'll be a little bit better. I'm gonna try another quick takeoff and landing. So here we go. This plane is so fast. Pretty cool though, right? You can see. Yeah, it's really neat. And look around. Should make landing a lot easier. So when you're turning to base on a landing, you need to be able to kind of see where the runway is. Otherwise, you'll uh, you'll overshoot it. So this helps out with that a lot. Again, there's a pretty stiff cross breeze. You can feel it. We're gonna climb out a little bit. Keep the throttles up. And then I'll just make a hard U-turn and see if we can just come right back at the runway. Actually, you know what? We'll go around because I know the wind's pretty stiff. It'll probably be better if we go all the way around here. Let me see if you can actually look around. Yeah, it's mad because I'm not climbing anymore. <laughs> but it's neat because you can actually like move all around. They can see all the different functions, all the switches and everything. I like it. This is a little little tour of Wellington, guys. You can see around. This little runway is in a... You can see the runway right there. This runway is actually in a neighborhood. It's really cool. And Carlo and I like to go there quite, quite often and like watch the planes because there's some people that live there. It's, a, it's an aviation community, and uh, they've got some really cool planes. It's a guy with a P-51 and a bunch of jets. People have, like, private jets in there. So it's really fun to, like, go over there and watch them take off. A couple of stunt pilots live in there. They, they fly some extras and just aerobatic planes. So a lot of fun. So right now here we're crossing Flying Cow. And we're going to get ready to make a pretty sharp U-turn here and we'll come right back in. So, this is actually what a lot of those guys that live out there do. They just make this same route. They just fly around all the time. Just do circles and land. So let's go ahead and turn. We're gonna pull the throttle back. And we're gonna keep a little bit of altitude. We don't wanna to fall too much. See, we're turning. We're gonna overshoot the approach here a little bit, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay, so there you go. There's a runway. We're lining up and put the flaps down. So far, this works pretty good. A little bit of a crosswind today, so let's see how that fares for a straight landing. One more flap. Not too bad. Got a little more speed than we want, but we're all right. So a little bit, a little bit of wind there. Not the best landing, but I'm still getting used to this moving around thing, so it kind of threw me off a little. Really good though. I'm kind of happy with that. I'll keep messing with this. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, if you have Flight Simulator, give me some tips. I'm always look, thinking, look, I can look behind, I think. Does it look behind you? I can't see the screen. No, it's just it's just showing like okay. as far out of the window All so right. you can see. Well, in the, in the game, you can actually look around. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one.